interactive tools are a great medium for understanding math concepts. Let's take a look at two unique tools, all-in-one grapher and 3D tools. As the name suggests, the all-in-one grapher enables one to plot multiple function graphs on the same Cartesian plane. Let's demonstrate the power and ease of using this tool by plotting a quadratic graph. First, select the type of graph. Then, its form. Finally, the coefficients and constants. You may key in the figures in the boxes or use the slide rule. Here's how you can adjust the scale. Voila! The quadratic graph is done. Now let's take a look at the unique features of this grapher. You can select the properties you want reflected on the graph. If you want to view the data table or xy values, here it is. Solution to the function. Formula to use. Gradients. No problem. Now let's try to plot a trigonometry function using the same steps. Let's take a look at some of its properties. Maybe gradients too? Shall we overlay some graphs and design a simple assignment? Here we go. Now we have two graphs on the same Cartesian plane. Let's get rid of the grid lines and have a sketch instead. Now let's have the equations presented. As an assignment, the students are required to match the equation to the graph. The graph can also be downloaded and attached to documents. Now let's take a look at the 3D tools. Let's begin with the first 3D tool for simple and composite solids. Here is a ready pool of simple solids and a pool of composite solids. To begin, select a solid. You can modify the solid any way you want it, rotate it, even magnify it. If you need a plan view, side or front elevation view, no problem. If a wireframe is what you desire, by all means. Now let's take a look at the 3D tool for triangles in 3D solids. To begin, select a solid. Now let's have the triangle in the solid. If you want the reference triangle to stand out, no problem. Solutions are also provided. Notice how the values in the solution changes when the object is modified. Now the third 3D tool is for 3D diagrams of real-life scenarios. Let's select a scenario. First, view the problem. We are to find the angle of elevation of M from B. Next, locate the triangle where the required angle is. Right, it is in this triangle. And this is the required angle. Now for the solution. Here, there is a unique feature which other systems do not have. Thinking process. Before any attempts on problem solving, the thinking process is crucial. Students need to understand the problem, identify what they are required to find, and manipulate the given information to solve the problem. For more details and sign up for this program, visit our website.